Okay guys, we are starting off with uh, eyebrows are done already and my eyelids are primed with concealer I believe um, or that's Urban, De Urban Decay, I can't remember, I think it's Urban Decay. Um, but yeah, that my eyes are primed so I just need something to prime my face and I'm going to use the Becca Ever Matte Coreless Primer uh, which kind of keeps me matte but not as much as my Milk Magnesia but I'm just using my Becca today. And you want to make sure you rub that all the way in a little bit goes a long way with that Becca. And now I decided to reach for my Missy Lim palette because I haven't used it in a long time. And I'm just going to buff that color into my crease. And I'm going to take this brown just to darken up the crease just a bit. I'm going to make it even darker a little bit later. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and blend that directly into the crease. Now I'm going to take my, um, I think this is Amber Lights from MAC, and I'm going to press that into the lid, and the lid only, because I have hooded um, lids, it's, I always end up getting my lid color into the crease, which I hate, <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to just gently press that into the lid. And we want to make sure everything is blended well together where there is no harsh lines. Blending is important. Now I'm going to take my Lancome foundation, which I think, I feel like it's more of a summer foundation for me, but I'm using it anyway. <laughs> Okay guys, now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer um, to highlight and conceal underneath my eyes. I don't have the concealer that I want to use at the time, um, so I'm just using this. This is still a really good concealer. And I'm going to make this line entirely too big, like what is going on girl, but we're going to make it work today. And we're going to use a damp beauty blender to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup to set on that concealer underneath my eyes. One of my favorite um, under eye setting powders. And now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Clean Collection um, foundation just to contour and give my face some type of cheekbones today. And I'm gonna try to fix the nose. Um, yeah. <laughs> And we're going to use that damp beauty blender to blend out that contour. Blend, blend, blend. Huh? 
Now I'm going to take my Lorac palette and I'm going to get that black out of it. Um, just like I told you before, I'm going to darken up that crease a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use that black and do not put too much. Um, but you're definitely going to have to blend this really, really well. Like, blending forever, girl. Forever. <laughs> Cardi B voice, forever. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my eyeliner that barely shows up um, because I can't really uh, afford to get the one that I want to get right now. So I'm just using this still this cheap eyeliner um, just to line my waterline. It shows up a little bit but not as much or easy as it needs to be. And we're going to brush off that excess powder. And I almost forgot to blend out that contour on my nose. I was like, oh girl, what are you doing? So yeah, definitely had to blend that out. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder to set my entire face. And I'm going to use my favorite Milani blush. I think this is Bella Amori or something. Um, give my face some color back. And I'm going to go back to my Missy Lynn palette to grab some of those gold highlights at the bottom. And I'm going to set my face with my NYX spray. And I'm going to take this Dior mascara that I got for free from Ulta for something that I purchased and uh, give myself a little bit of lash. I should have added a false lash but I was too lazy to do so. I'm always too lazy to add false lashes but it really brings out a look when you add those lashes. So I'm going to try to do more looks with lashes but just not today. <laughs> And I'm going to add, try to add a little bit to the bottom, but these things are struggling, as you can see. They are struggle lashes. <laughs> Alright, so moving right along to the lips, and I'm using um, NYX. I think this is a brown liner from NYX. And on top of that, I am putting Antique Velvet from MAC. Alright guys, and that is the final look. I'm going to get this hair together. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you made it all the way to the end. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Enhanced by Cherie. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.